Hi Ladybugs, Yolanda here and today I'm repurposing a whole lot of tags um, you know that I when I buy stuff from the cards, I mean these little mason jars are so cute and I've already cut some out and you can see what I've done here this is a square tag and all I'm doing is using bits and pieces <coughs> to cover it and, um, and then of course winding the lace around it so I suppose this is a bit of a craft along come a tip <laughs> of what to do you see these come little birdie handmade flowers so I've got quite a few of these and of course a mountain of unused paper so um, I just thought I would share this with you because I have a little brown suitcase that I bought like yonks ago mm, that I'm still want to get around to painting and redoing the inside and just making it pretty and in there I want to put my laces but I think I'm only going to get to do that next year now because Christmas is approaching and as I'm sure most of you have heard me mention I'm leaving for overseas hopefully on Monday all things going well with the slipping virus that's now mutated again and it just never ends I haven't seen my sons in three years because of this COVID. <sighs> so anyway, I've cut it. I've already marked the hole there on the one side so I know where to put it. And then probably we'll need to do a little bit of trimming. Because nothing ever turns out quite 100% look, you know. And all I did was trace this on here and cut directly on the line. But um, obviously I can't cut straight. <laughs> Look at it. And it's always best before cutting and stuff to let your paper dry. And you can either use this, but the paper must be dry because it'll just tear otherwise. So I'm just uh, a little bit there. So I already have this one also half done as you can see and I'm just using leftover Stamperia paper. Always mark your hole first if you want to use it because I'm going to put little ribbons in there just to make them pretty you know. Or maybe that's a waste of ribbon, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> and then you just glue it straight on and there's your little repurposed tags and they're lovely and firm which which are perfect I mean I really didn't cut that well did I which are just perfect to use for laces and ribbons and you can even distress the edges if you want as well but I mean I'm not gonna bother with that it's purely just to try and neaten up my laces because I've got them all over the place you can see this is my bag <laughs> where I have the laces. They are on cards, but you know, they're ugly. So I thought, no, I want to put them in my little suitcase. When I come to do my suitcase, I will also do it online. I've never done one before, but um, I've already got the chalk paint for it. You know that chalk paint? I don't know, I'm not convinced. Unless I'm somehow doing it wrong, but when you paint with it, even though you, uh, uh, what's it, coated it a few times with the top coat, you know, it still shows every mark and every stain. You know, the slightest thing shows on it, so uh, I don't know, we'll see when we come to use it. And, and this suit, little suitcase is something I'm going to be using all the time because of well I use lace all the time and I don't want the suitcase to become marked so I shall see what I'm going to do so if you've got any tips for using chalk paint let me know and what top coats do you use it because I'm even thinking maybe I should use a straight old varnish rather than what they give you that goes with the chalk paint But um, I'm probably, there's probably something I'm not doing right. So there I have. I mean, you don't have to put pink with pink. I'm just, I've got it so 
from using it and look at that it's just so quick and yeah it doesn't take long especially if you've got hundreds <laughs> of, of yards or meters of lace and ribbon and and then you can put them in their colors in the actual suitcase or you can use a I don't know perspex box I love those perspex bo boxes because then you can see what's inside but I mean it's really looking cute and I've got this one and I have this lace but I don't want it so long so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this a bit and you see there it's got a little bump I think I need to take that bump out and everything else I'm just going to leave and I think I'm going to round that corner where is my round punch right here yeah. hopefully oh yeah it does it punches there nicely great 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 and then as I said all I did I think I'll use this it's this is Stamperia Wonderland paper so you go like so and I'm going to take it right to the top very very pretty and then just trace it and really they do make very nice ribbon bobbins shall we call them bobbins they're not bobbins but <laughs> and then it's a great way to tidy the ribbons up because mine are in a state well my whole room is in a state this is a temporary room so that I'm using here in my house but we are in the process of selling you see so I haven't bothered really organizing because I do like organizing my stuff and it's I find it quite frustrating that I can never find anything because it's all over the place my craft room in Zimbabwe was very organized <clears throat> not a mess like this I knew where everything was and I had a sewing section everything very very tidy you know then you can find exactly what you want straight away without scrabbling through mountains of stuff that's just all over the place so I cannot wait to do my craft room in Portugal because that's eventually where we will land up one of these days who knows when yeah can't wait so and I cut directly on that line you know because when you trace it comes a little bit out of the line and then I am I think I'm just going to do that and all I'm going to do is make the hole there punch a hole oh crikey I need to see the thing where are you where are you there we go and then I have this piece here <clears throat> which again I'm just going to trace it's gorgeous I do like this paper as well it's just oh my oh you know what I'm really silly I'm trying to put this straight with the edge and I can't because of that bump there so I don't know what the top piece is going to be like we shall see what we shall see on the line and let's do the deed here and I'm really silly I should have used my corner punch to do <laughs> to cut that instead of trying to cut it by hand because you know 
it never comes out as perfect as a punch. So, Vada's made punch. It is just back in my drawer. So I'm just going to, okay, well, it's not going to neaten it, but I might as well do this edge. And this one, can I neaten it? No. Nah. So, so, so easy. And I, oh, what am I doing? I want to put the glue on here, not on there. Can you hear the thunder in the background? It's very light. We get up amazing storm, thunderstorms and lightning storms in Africa. And they just, okay, my hole is very crooked there, but you know what, it's okay, it's okay. I should have just uh, punched my hole once this one was on, but it's fine. the back it's ready to go on let me check that the edge because it's better to trim before you put your other piece on if you need to trim you know otherwise it's difficult to see so you can just actually I must look on my Cricut design space and see if they've got templates for this you know different that would be nice because I don't mind having different templates doesn't all have to be exactly the same. I mean, you can see that from there. But it's also a way of repurposing your little cardboard tags from shopping or, or the backing. You know the backing? So let's put this on. <clears throat> there we go. I haven't really got, it's November, um, by the way, <laughs> and I must say, I haven't really got into the Christmas spirit. I don't, normally, you know, with, with my sons and I, as a family, we haven't been together for Christmas for more than 10 years. Yeah, that is, how sad is that? And we, you know, we love Christmas. So I don't, it's very hard for me to get into the Christmas spirit because I can't celebrate it with them. I mean, last year it was just me, Joe, and of course his father, who's 93. And it's just so sad because we used to have enormous Christmases. Loads of food and, yeah. Now, that's all gone. But this year I am going to be in Portugal. I'm taking my parents' ashes to Madeira. I promised my mom that I would because that's where she's from, that I would spread her ashes there. And she was very pleased when I said that. Yeah. You know, we were together, obviously, when she was dying. And um, we spoke about all stuff that people are reluctant to speak about, which we had spoken about before. But it was tremendously sad, very traumatizing to watch your mother die. I'm sure some of you have been through the same thing with your parents too. It is not unique to me. We all go through it. There we go. Anyway. And she, my mom always kept a picture of her mother, beautiful picture um, on her dressing table. I remember her looking at me and saying, Oh, my mother's picture. And I said to her, Don't worry, I will keep I will put it next to a picture of your of you in my house. And and it I it, I've done that. Yeah, very sad. But that's life. So there. So I just thought I would show you and make this, you know, another quick video. And it just makes everything so much neater. And you just wind. I mean, this is perfect because this is a little bit bigger. This lace. 
and just windy 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 so you don't need a fancy template or whatever to do your lace what are these things called I don't even know what they're called is there a name for them lace wraps <laughs> I don't even know if there's a name for them anyway but yeah so you don't don't throw away your tags I mean you they come in all sizes so they're very handy to use and I've got a whole pile which I'm gonna have to sit and do so guys I hope you enjoyed this little quick I don't know what to call it tutorial tip craft along but um, and with a little ribbon in there I think it'll look okay this is not the right ribbon but um, let's put a little ribbon quickly before I end this off oh, oh what am I doing <laughs> Okay, I've already cut it. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can tie it into a bow or a knot or whatever you want. In fact, this ribbon, you know what, would be a good indicator of the color that's on the actual board. In case you can't see it in the suitcase or wherever it is and you know, okay, that's pink ribbon. Or maybe you should do a piece of this there, but I mean, I don't want to cut that. No, no. But yeah, so there we have it, little ribbon boards. Here we go. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching and thanks for coming back. And I will see you soon. Ciao now.